Here live with middleweight Jason Quigley. Fights this Friday at Fantasy Springs Casino for Golden Boy Promotions. Can you tell us a little about, about your opponent, man? Um, to be honest, you know, just yesterday I had an exchange of an opponent. I was meant to be fighting Dante Moore from Cleveland, Ohio, and it got mixed up and it's got changed now because Dante had to pull out due to an injury. So now I'm fight, fighting a guy, Mexican, Freddy Lopez. He's coming to the table with a good record, nine fights, or 12 fights, nine ones, three losses. You know, he's an experienced fighter. He's been in with some good lads, and uh, you know I'm ready to take care of business come Friday night. Have you had any chance to see any film on him or anything like that? Yeah, I sm uh, saw a small bit of film on him last night. Um, you know he's a tall, long-range fighter. Likes to use that jab well. You know he brings he brings a good a good repertoire to the to the table. But you know I've worked too hard. I've sacrificed too much. You know, nobody's going to take nothing away from me come Friday night. So you're heavy-handed, man. You're, you're known for your knockouts. Is that how you predict uh, this fight on Friday is going to go? You know, as I say, I get in there and every time I'm in the gym, I prepare 110% to go the distance. This is going to be my first eight-round fight scheduled for eight rounds. You know, so I'm prepared. I'm ready to go eight rounds. But if I hurt this guy, I see any weakness in him, I'm taking this guy out of here. There's no chance I'm giving anybody a second chance. I smell blood, they call me an animal, I'm going to take him out of there. So you're getting up there on your record, you know, when do you think it's time for you to start maybe thinking about a title shot? How, how far down the line is that for you, do you think? You know, that's entirely up to my uh, management team and Golden Boy Promotions. You know, my job is to get in there, to one, one convincingly, and take care of business and work my ass off as hard as I can in the gym. And when I'm doing that, I know I have a great team around me. I have my management team, Sheer Sports, I have Golden Boy Promotions, you know what I mean? I have a massive team around me, and I know if I take care of business inside the ring, they're gonna look after me outside the ring.